55. Broadway is going 88 miles an hour, back in time with the splashy and flashy Back to the Future. The new musical transports the beloved movie to the stage via the DeLorean, complete with the whole McFly family, including Lorraine, played by Leanna Hunt, who joins me now. Good to see you. Hi, Welcome. Thank you. I mean, this, I, this first of all, congrats, because the show was so much fun to watch. Um, but this is like a homecoming for you, because you started your career in the theater. Your Broadway debut was yes. at the Winter Garden Theater. Yes. 13 years ago for yeah. Mamma Mia? Oh, I know, I know. It's wild. Like, that is where I started my career and made my Broadway debut. And um, the woman who played my mom in Mamma Mia actually just came to see me. Oh and we stood God. on the stage and took a photo together. It's really special. Do you have the same dressing room? I am directly above my old dressing room. So Moving our Marty, up. our Marty is in my old room uh -huh. and I'm right above him. Oh, yeah. there, there is so much love for the movie. Yeah. So it's like, I feel like there's a little yeah. bit of pressure to like take on this role, but yeah. people are coming to this show yeah. dressed in like the outfits, which I wish that I had done. That was a missed opportunity. <laughs> but do you remember like the first time seeing this movie and like Gosh. the impact it made have had yeah. on you? I mean, I don't remember the first time because I was so young, yeah. but it was a huge part of my childhood. Yeah. Me and my brother loved the film growing up and I always loved Lorraine. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, let's talk about Lorraine. Yeah. Um, so you play Lorraine. What did you want to bring to her? Because I feel like it, with every role that you play, a little bit of it kind of sticks yeah. with, with you too, you know? So what did you want to bring and, and how do you think, what do you Think you learned about yourself maybe in this oh, process gosh. of playing her. Well, I love Lorraine. And, you know, first and foremost, it's our responsibility to pay homage to these characters, specifically mine that was created by Leah Thompson. Yeah. So there's a huge responsibility there, but inevitably I have to infuse her with myself because, yeah. you know, I'm me. So I'm hoping that this is my version of Lorraine as well as a tribute to what Leah Thompson created. And uh, one of the things I love about Lorraine is she's so confident and um, full of life and I certainly wasn't that confident at that age so I'm yeah. like I'm taking that with me yeah, I'm taking like that yeah I want that for me I take that and run I love it let's talk about Leah Thompson yeah. I mean everyone loved her in yeah. that character too She's an icon. Um, she came to the show to see you oh no gosh. crash oh, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like having her in the audience and and what'd you guys talk about after oh my gosh are you kidding it was incredible I mean I definitely felt nervous and pressure because she was there but ultimately this is the show I've created so I just had to trust that the work I've done is the work I've done and yeah. hope that she appreciated it and enjoyed it and she was so sweet she came on stage in the curtain call and like scanned down the line and found me immediately and was like come here and we oh. hugged and she had some really sweet words you know she called me an absolute dream boat oh. which is the line from the film which I you know died over yeah she's been here too she's lovely oh my god lovely yeah lovely. Um, I, we got to talk about the dynamic between Lorraine and and Marty, which, I, you know, <laughs> hilarious to watch with my boys. Oh I didn't think about it prior to well. that. But <laughs> how did you want to approach that? Did you guys have conversations around? We know this is kind of weird. And yeah, yeah, definitely in the rehearsal room we talked about that. The nice part about my character is I don't know. I don't really have to right. worry about it You're because right. as long as I'm playing the truth of my circumstances, which is that I don't know who this boy is. He's just a handsome boy who seems to have been dropped into my bedroom. Then. That's you're all like, I'm dealing amazing. with. I don't have to wear, I mean, Casey has you're to right, deal with you're that. You're right, it is much more of a thing that he's got to deal with. But yeah. we, it has to be dealt with, you know, a little delicately. He does it perfectly, yeah. too. Um, but you're also proud of this Broadway sketch comedy group, um, Shiz. Yeah. How do you think that your character, Sophie from Mamma Mia, would be back in 1955 from Back to the Future okay, you in that know, world? You know what? Sophie is full of mischief. She's a chaotic girl. She's kind of up to no good. And I think if dropped in these circumstances, she would cause like twice the amount of mischief that Marty <laughs> ends up causing. Like I can just see it. I think it would be so funny. I feel like you got to go do that now. And Honestly, yeah. let's write it. Let's write it. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing that during the break. <laughs> you can catch Back to the Future playing now at the Winter Garden oh. Theater. For tickets, head to Back to the Future Musical. Dot com. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having Enjoy me. Enjoy this ride. I so will.